welcome back once more. No time like the present to run through everything that happened in the last 24 hours. It's been busy. I hope you guys have been uh, getting some good images out of the workflows. So the first thing I want to mention is we've now got a lot of versions. Now the older versions back here, V10, V12, V16, V17, V18, these, these all use the older technique. So if you can't run the new checkpoint method because you've got low VRAM, you can still scroll down and watch the instructions for the original method, which required you to download all the models. Because if you've got a little card, 30 and 40 series can take this. Everybody else can take this. Somebody who helpfully explained that the BF16s are for the newer cards. So if you've got an older card, you want to try that one. But I know that people have been, I know that people have had success using the smaller combination on the old workflow. All right. And you can still do everything. Moving on, what we did was we re-released image to image, uh, text to image, image to vision and image to remix. And then I brought out an image to remix with face swap. So basically you put in a couple of reference images and you put in a face swap and you can uh, get really close to a concept or character with a bit of prompt editing and choosing what you've put in there. All right. I quickly realized that if I just add, um, if I just add four, so I've got four images going into the clip vision and then one image going into reactor. So here we have cable from Deadpool two, right? And it's not a LoRa, it's not a control net. So it's going to try and get close. What I've done is I've exposed everything now. So you, you've got all the options there. I've got it preset for 3072. So we're using 72 compression. Uh, you can play around with this as much as you want. As you can see, my prompt is really simple. So, you know, if you wanted to actually spend some time, I just wanted to see it's working right and it when it's working right. So yeah, I've simplified the workflow a bit. We've added in a unclip conditioning stack so you can have four visioning codes. Uh, they all go into the sampler and then into the last and then finally, and then we chuck it into the uh, uh, reactor. So if you have a trouble having trouble with a custom node, you can always try using the quick fix button there. But if that doesn't work, what you can do is go to the custom nodes folder. So you want to go down to the uh, custom node that's giving you trouble. Say for me, it's maybe impact pack is giving me grief. So then I go in here and I type CMD. All right. The first thing you want to do is obviously get pull. So we do git pull and let's say you start the server up and it doesn't run. Well, um, if there is a requirements.txt, you might need to also do a pip install dash r r e q tab like that. You might need to do that. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. So um, this workflow is now available up here. Um, when ControlNet comes, I'll release ControlNet versions. There was a canny, but it doesn't seem to be implemented. Or, or you know, there's also a LoRa. Uh, people have been training LoRas, but they don't really work yet. Cascade text to image workflow works really nicely. Um, I had a little bit of a mess around trying to see if I could get things like Photo Maker and none of that seems to have an effect so you can get things to work without crashing but it doesn't actually do anything um if i go for the image to image image to image was producing good results so that was like a little picture of a toy soldier which i used the same prompt as the last image i also got this woman with a robot hand which was pretty cool that's image to image obviously we move on now to uh, vision. There would be a the lizard prompt with the imp with the vision, and then uh, here would be one 
uh, using one. Uh, here's the one with the face fix. Well, it's not really a face fix, it's face swap. And your mileage may vary depending on wh what face you've picked because, like I said, it really depends on the combination because, like I said, sometimes the face is really quite pixelated and actually you probably do better like without doing a face fix because then it's just the pupils which are a bit funny um because i tried making this thing called image to maker and i thought it was working but uh like i said it was making good images but uh they weren't it wasn't actually the the photo maker wasn't doing anything so i i did put the version up quickly i don't know how many people saw it but it went up and then it went down and uh in the end i've just finished with cascade anyone which is the one i was just showing you um and cascade anyone was able to estimate laura I had to messy at the face it does better the face fix does better with real photos as you can see here, it managed to get Tom Holland as Spider-Man. I put gloves. He, the reason he's got big gloves on, right, is because when I first generated him, he looked like this. And it tried to put his face underneath. Um, and then when I managed to get him no mask, suddenly his fingers were showing. And his fingers were, were always trying to show through. I was like, what the hell? Um, but in, you know, so in the end, I just had to sort of say gloves. Um but like I said, this is not a LoRa or a control net. So the fact that it got so close is actually crazy. We've, we've used a face swap image and then four reference pictures to estimate pose and the clothing and things like that. Is that a microphone or a cigar? <laughs> um, if this hand wasn't, it was actually attached to an arm, that would have been really good. In the end, I thought this one, and probably this one with the bet. No, not that one. That one. That one's pretty good. It's funny how it's overdone his draw because it was like, that's the most interesting thing. Uh, yeah, that was it. One more point. Uh, if you're having trouble with the face swap node, you've got two things you can do. You can search for in swapper. You should already have the model. Um, get the this one here, in swap O and X. It could be that you're missing O and X, and it should have been installed by doing the requirements on Reactor, like I showed you. But um, if that doesn't work and you just can't get it to work, then you can just hit Control B on Reactor. And uh, in theory, it'll just pass through and save the image without doing the face swap. So at least you get to generate the images based on there. It's just the face will end up looking like this guy because one of the weaknesses of reactor is if the generation on the left it only swaps the image on the left so this is id zero this is id one so that meant that this guy didn't actually get face swapped the guy in the background did <laughs> so that's one of the weaknesses of uh reactor there's ways you can set that up you can obviously duplicate it chain it and then apply the same face to both or you can have two faces and apply one to one and one to the other but you're always going to have that challenge if there's more than one person and he's not the one on the left. So, uh, the other important change, um, which will roll out to the other workflows is my workaround currently for getting images to be square and upscale without wasting any time is this. So what we do is we use image crop by ratio, which is part of Como Genie's nodes. And then we use Durfu to scale by longest side 2048. So again, if the image isn't center crop, like generally I'd have them default to center crop. But if I put in a tall image, obviously I can pick top, bottom, center, left, right. So you're able to um, choose which position to, to put the crop on, but it makes it one to, to one so that when it scales it, You've got a big image going in, which is then, um, in fact, I don't even think you need to scale up the image this side, but I don't know how big the image is. This isn't just scaling up. What it's actually doing is it could be taking a 4K image down to 2K, 
or it could be taking a 500 image up to 2K, right? And it's just going to do nearest exact. So I'd say that's like your cheap upscale where you just went into Photoshop and just dragged, just made it bigger, okay? Um, but because we're going to process it, the uh, any artifacts are going to be gone. So unless you want them there. But like I say, um, that's the only thing which I've changed which will roll out in uh, in new workflows because at the moment the workflows you have to put in the a square image you know that's that's <laughs> and I thought that was a bit crappy so I've improved that for this and there'll be uh, new versions dropping which will have that improvement but because they are custom nodes I always like I said tried to put that a uh, clean one out first um but like I said we've added this there's going to be more custom nodes added soon. So, all right, have fun with that. So I'm opening a five below five discord. There's going to be comfy workflows on there. There's going to be a video release feed. There'll be a general chat. I'm sure I'll add a whole bunch of other stuff, but the idea is just a place where you can hit me up. Um, and then maybe I can make some more videos based on things that people want to see. I've got lots of stuff to show you but I can't know about everything, can I? Uh, thank you so much for coming along and checking out the channel. It's less than a month old. There's a lot of stuff I want to take a look at over the next few weeks, so. Follow, subscribe, whatever it is, hit the buttons, and I'll see you next time.